been limiting you from traveling. Yes. Something has been limiting you from going to far places. Yes, Something has stopped you from knowing other countries. Yes, Something has stopped you from enjoying other places. Tonight I break it. Amen. As I speak today, I open nations unto you. Amen. I open places unto you. Amen. You shall go far and wide. Amen. I'll just dress like any other person. Going to church on weekend days. But my spirit was prepared. I got to church and the pastor said, Tayo, I cannot preach today. You are the preacher. I said, Pastor. He turned and walked away. And I knew he was finished with me. I walked outside. I only had a few minutes. I went, Makato Sabra. Yeah, Jesus, man, that's about both sides. There's some prayer you are busy reporting somebody. You see what pastor has done, God? Man told the bush, God said, hey, keep quiet. It's, it is your Kairos moment. Uh, when I got to the pulpit and I thought, since that day, he will give me assignment till today. I, are you hearing me, somebody? You prepare. Tell someone, say, prepare for your moment. If you prepare, you can take advantage. You can take advantage. Hello. Hello. He was occasion. Someone say occasion. The word kahi was also means occasion. The word kahi was also means season, which means it can be a one moment thing. Bam! Just at the right time, I'll show you some one moment answers just now. But just at the right time, one moment, one moment. But there are times it is a season. That is why I I I, I feel I am angered when I see members come to church late. I am angered when I see members missing praise and worship. Are you hearing me, somebody? Not because of what you, 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 are, you are here to do. There are some thoughts as you come to church. When the service is starting, it almost appears as if you are going to have an empty service. By the time service progresses, the place is full. You see the people. Are you hearing me, somebody? It is not. It is about your destiny. It is about appointment. It's about appointment. The word kahi was also means a proper time. A time of engagement. An appointment made. But all of this has got to do with a blessing. It's not an appointment to come and say, Hey, <laughs> minister, we met just, I, came, I just met you coming in. So I'm, that's all they're happy with. I came in together with Daddy. We came together at the same time. <laughs> is, is it just that? Every appointment carries a blessing. You are not hearing me, somebody. Genesis 17, verse 21. Am I helping you? Am I helping you? Genesis 17, verse 21. To go. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. I will establish my covenant with Isaac. What does Isaac mean? What does Isaac mean? His laughter. Isn't it not interesting? Was the day that Sarah laughed? <laughs> but her laughter was a laughter of unbelief. There are different laughters in life. Like there are different tears in life. Many of you have been crying the tears of sorrow for too long. You are going to be to cry tears of joy. Oh, you don't hear me, somebody. You don't hear me. You did not hear me, did not hear me. I was away for the past few weeks. And one of the sisters who lived in a compound where somebody had contracted Ebola, got infected with Ebola, and um, five people died from the house where she took the Ebola from, and brought five people to die in our own house and compound and the house are so close together and say God preserve them and the interesting thing is not only one member we have there we had three the member her daughter and the member's brother so there are three members and the way the place is I had to give her give her instructions as advice I said please get buckets to use the bathroom in your room cook in your house just make sure are you understanding me, somebody? Hello, that you don't burn your house. But my, minimize your contact with the, with the, with the general, what do you call it? Bathroom. So you, I, I, are you understanding me, somebody? I got to give some advice, send some things. 
and back it up in prayer. Come out in prayer. God, please have it. When I saw the pictures taken and I saw her testify, I felt I cry. And when I came to church and I saw them in church, I forced my eyes to keep the tears in. It was not tears of pain. It was tears of joy about the faithfulness of Jehovah. Because when 21 days was about to be over, I called her. She said, Daddy, they have extended the time again because somebody else extended again. I said, God, it's not only 21 days. Now it's extended. I said, but God, you can do it. I declare to you, you will laugh laughters of joy. Will them... All those of you who can produce amen, may your miracle come speedily. But God says, I will establish my covenant with Isaac, whom Sarah will produce at this set time in the next year. Someone said, this set time in the next year. So it was like a one-year period that was set. Okay? This, someone said, this set time. If I tell you this set time next year, what month are you expecting? February. What date? Huh? On the 8th. That's what you'd expect also because I said what this set time next year. Some people go and just go sit down. But you know something? Abraham prepared himself because between this time and the time that Isaac was born, there was a visitation. This was a time when God was correcting Abraham because Abraham had gone wrong. Abraham had messed up in adultery with Hagar. You say it was a permission adultery. From God's own mind, it was adultery. Are you hearing somebody? That was not a child that God expected. Hello. And so, um, God now came back after 13 years. God came and warned Abraham, walk before me and be perfect. And then God tells him, at this set time, next year, I'll come and fulfill what I said to you. But do you know that after this, it was within this time that the Lord came passing by on the street. And Abraham looked out and saw three men. He said, wow, this is the time I was waiting for. Keep that. Keep that. Someone say, keep it. Say, keep it. No, tell someone, say, keep it. Say, keep it. Because let me move away. I'll come back to that in a moment. Go to First Chronicles 12, verse 32. First Chronicles 12, verse 32. And of the children of Ishakar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Pastor Elizabeth Alpha, some people right now, they're not doing full work in the office. Hmm? It's just going in a few stuff. Students are not going to school. This is a time that some people which should use to know God. Use in prayer. There's a season of my life when I had a long holiday. During that time, I chose that I want to read through the Bible. I studied the Bible crazy. I never knew that I'd be pastoring a church one day. You see, so for this time you have, you will never have it again. To build up yourself spiritually. You miss it. You are busy crying. Are, are you getting the point? How many of you are teachers? Teachers, same as you. And you are not going to school now, not so. And you are not teaching right now. And you are busy crying. No salary and whatever. Listen, this is a time that you can intensify. You can deepen your work with God. Are you here with somebody? Because all of a sudden one day, you realize that something else comes your way. And you will never have this time again. Because what was meant for evil, God turns it around for our good. The Bible says of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were 200. And all their brethren were at their commandment. When you know the things that you ought to know, your brethren would be at your commandment. Amen. When you know the things you ought to know, understanding gives you advantage. 
Talk with me. Say understanding. It gives you advantage. Read up here and say, Father, please give me understanding. You, you, you cannot have understanding without having knowledge. It is knowledge that you must understand. So therefore you need knowledge for you to walk in understanding. Understanding of purpose will cause you will cause you to appropriate to take advantage of your kairos moment. Are you with me somebody? Understanding of purpose will cause you to take advantage of your kairos moment. When the man came to Elisha, his name was called Naaman. And Naaman had leprosy. And Elisha gave him prophetic word. Go wash yourself. Go dip yourself in Jordan seven times. You'll be cleansed. When the man came back and bought gifts and bought presents to Elisha, Elisha said, I am seeing what you are not seeing. Go with your gifts. I said, sir. He said, no, no, take it. Gehazi did not understand purpose. Please pay attention. Look at me, look at me. Give me a big wave to somebody. No, no, sister. How can you wave here? Look at me. Look at the sister. She's not looking at me. Wave to me. Look at me. When you wave to me. Look at me in my, eye, in my eyes as you wave to me. Somebody. If you cannot find my eyes, look at the screen. Find my eyes on the screen. And look at me. Hello. Naaman said, Elisha said, I'm not seeing this gift. Gehazi said, my master has made a sad mistake. He chased after Naaman and told a lie. And when he came back, he didn't come back with only gifts. He came back with curses. And what did Elisha say? His problem was not a matter of gifts. It was a matter of timing. Someone said timing. Ladies, do not have a boyfriend before it's time. Uh, well, daddy, you know, he says he wants to marry me. Listen, understand timing. Don't enter into relationship. Listen, I pray you not lay foundation for your house before it's time. There's something about timing. Talk to me somebody. There's something about timing. You must understand purpose and understand timing. But when you understand purpose, it helps you to make use of timing. If Gehazi understood who he was about to become, he would not have run after those things. The reason why he ran after them is because he did not understand his purpose. Wave to me somebody. To me. Do you know that when Joseph came in front of Pharaoh, he never complained to Pharaoh? He never told Pharaoh how he got to prison? It was irrelevant. The Bible says that when they called Joseph, he shaved himself. Why? He changed his looks even from that of an Israelite into that of an Egyptian. The Israelites will not clean. They will not. They don't. Are you hearing me, somebody? But what did, Gehazi, uh, what did uh, Joseph do? He cleaned everything. Are you understanding me, somebody? He said, this is my time. I understand purpose. When he came in front of Pharaoh, he didn't complain. He gave Pharaoh counsel. He says, I was raised up to govern. I was raised up to give advice. So even though I have got pain, I would like Pharaoh to deliver me. What I am going to deal with, I am going to tell Pharaoh wisdom concerning his kingdom. When he told him wisdom concerning his kingdom, Pharaoh said, is there any other man like him? Is there any other man like Joseph? As from today, you are the prime minister. Look at me somebody. When you understand purpose, you will not chase after the wrong things. Oh, come on, wave to me, somebody, wave to me. Wave to me. The reason why some ladies dress around and they're showing their flesh, skirts that open to show their legs, see through things to show their shape, is because you don't understand purpose. Are you understanding me, somebody? Look at me, your beauty is strategic. Your beauty has got purpose. Talk to me, somebody. There are some smart men who are busy stealing money. Your wisdom is not for you to be a thief. There's something more about your life. You know, when David got to the battlefront, what caused him 
to go and face Goliath. Was that what his father sent him for? Why did the, uh, Jesse send David to the battlefront? To do what? To take food for his brothers. But when David got there, he heard the voice of Goliath. Something within him said, this is why I was made. This is why I exist. To fight for Israel. Sister Louisa, David knew that before the battlefield. How do I know? When the lion came, when the bear came against his sheep, he took a stone and a sling and he hit this bear. Why did he hit the bear with a sling? He had been practicing before the bear came. Look at me. When I knew that I would begin to preach, I would go in front of the mirror and I'll say, the Bible says, blow your trumpet in Zion. And that means, and I be, I'll teach the mirror. I'll be teaching myself in the mirror. Are you hear me, somebody? The first day I was giving the pulpit, they said, Who taught him how to preach? The mirror and God. They taught me how to preach. Uh, look at me, someone. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Uh, and understand your purpose. When the bear came, he killed the bear. He drove the bear away. When the lion came, he killed the lion. And his friends could not understand why are you risking your life for one sheep? Why are you risking your life for one lamb? David says, I don't know, but something tells me I'm going to fight for people. I've got to defend people. And one day he gets to the battlefield and Goliath shouts, Aah! and everybody runs away. And just and David says, Where are you running to? I sense my chaos moment. He runs and kills Goliath. And cuts off his head. Your chaos moment may come looking like a Goliath. I declare to you, you shall not be afraid. You shall, oh, I am not hearing you. You shall not be afraid. No matter how big the task looks, you shall run to it and cut off his head. If I was talking to you, let me hear your amen. I'm trying to progress, but I'm still just dealing with the importance of the chaos moment. Because this one I want to sink into you. <laughs> There's much more I want to deal with, but let it sink into you. Understand this. Hello. 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 In John chapter 7, Jesus told his brothers, He said, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. He said, let's go up to the feast. He says, I'm not going. And then the feast has started. They say, you go, you go. Or they're preparing for the feast. He said, you go, you go. I am not going. Listen to me. Listen. Wave to me. Wave to me. Wave to me. Wave to me. A big wave. Never allow the crowd to control your time. Okay, you didn't hear me. Never allow the crowd to control your time. Never allow your friends to control your time. When everybody is doing this, does not mean that you must do it. This is a style today. It is not your style. This is a fashion that is involved. It is not your, your own fashion. Are you understanding me, somebody? Understand me. Mm. Let me tell you a story. Go to Exodus chapter 2. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. Everybody, while you're, while you're finding scripture, pray in the Holy Ghost for one for, 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 for 30 seconds. Just 30 seconds. No, 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 no. You didn't understand me. P -p pray like, like the man who wanted his eyesight. Uh, but Timus lifted up his voice. Uh, like Zacchaeus who climbed to see. Lift up your voice and pray for 30 seconds. <laughs> I said lift up your voice and some of you are bending your head down lift up your head and lift up your voice and pray the Holy Ghost for 30 seconds Mantoriabosa in Jesus' name. 
feel something is happening. I will I realize I am prophesying multiple prophecies in this message. Each time I sense an anointing, so strong where I am. And I want to stop and speak to somebody. The whole God tells me, teach on, teach on, teach on. Are you hearing me, somebody? The prophecy is going through the message. May you be sharp to understand your own word. May you be sharp to understand what the Spirit of God is saying to you. Let's read. And there went a man of the house of Levi and took to wife a daughter of Levi. And the woman conceived and bare son. When she saw that he was a good child, she hid him three months. When she could no longer hide him, she took, she took him, him and, mm -hmm. of bull brushes and, and dubbed it with slime, with slime and, with and with peach and, and put, put the, the child therein and she laid it in the flax by the, the river's brink, brink. and his and sister, sister stood afar off to wait what will be done to him and can we all read the and the daughter of Pharaoh came down, came down to wash herself at the river, at the river. and her maidens walked along by the, by the riverside and, and when she saw the ark among the flats she sent her maid to fetch it. And, and when she, she had opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the babe wept. And she had compassion on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call to thee the nurse of the Hebrew women, that, that she may nurse the child for thee? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. And the maid went and called the child's mother. And uh, Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, Take this child away oh, okay. and nurse. It's okay. It's okay. Someone say, Chaos moment. A son, a man of the house of Levi, went and gave birth and married a daughter of Levi and gave birth to the son. Let me ask you a question. What was the son's name? What was the son's name? What was his mother's name? What was his mother's name? Huh? What was his father's name? <laughs> Hear me, somebody. Your father might have been irrelevant in life. As for you, there's a purpose for your life. I wish you got it. I wish you got it. Nobody yes. might know your father's name, but they shall know your name. Yes. Today, I remove you from obscurity. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. you are moved to the place yes. of dominance. In yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. See that, see that. The Bible says the mother perceived she saw that he was a goodly child. Someone say a child with something. Today, let me tell you something. Why am I teaching the way I am preaching to you? But then let me tell you honestly, honestly, huh? I need to be sitting down and resting. But I realize who I am dealing with. Some people think he's just preaching because of his assignment. Honestly, God is my witness. It's not just because of my assignment. It's because of who you are. Are, are you hearing me, somebody? What I am giving to you, I already know it. What I am giving to you, I already know it. But this is about you. And I sense an urgency because I sense that Kairos moments are upon this ministry. Kairos moments are upon our members. And you, I, I cannot afford to fail God to allow you to miss it. Are you understanding me, somebody? I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Hello. She perceived was a good child. And she went and he did, made a basket for child and put the child on the river. Hello. Maybe it's not every day that the daughter of Pharaoh used to take a bath there. But this woman must have known that some people take their bath there. And she must have known that Pharaoh's daughter would visit there at some point. May God position you for your Kairos moment. I'm not hearing you, somebody. Listen to me, somebody. Stop despising where you are and pray for revelation about where you are. Why am I living in this Panbodi? Why am I staying in this Buddhist? Are you hearing me, somebody? It is amazing. It is amazing that they did not take Joseph, I mean uh, uh, Moses, and put him on some steps, on some whatever. They put him among bush in the river. What a place to hide the baby. 
pneumonia, all of it. But then, what she also did, please pay attention to this. Come, Minister Rodika. When they put the basket, give me that bag. No, no, give me the one, the other one, the other one. When they put the basket among the bush, the woman was strategic in the spirit. Oh God, may God give me people that are understanding me. May God give me strategic people. They put his older sister. Yeah. Say be watching. Someone say be watching. So I perceive something about this, but I need somebody to be watching. Today I release the grace of Miriam upon you. I release the grace of Miriam upon you. Listen, they never told Miriam what to do. They said, only watch and see. Listen to me. There are some of you that God is going to position you in a place that you know that this is an opportunity for my papa. You pick up the phone and say, Papa, I think you need to know this. I am asking this person to meet with you. Some of you, you pick up and say, Hey, Daddy, I saw something and I think this thing would work well for Sister Christiana Shaw. So I've just told you that you can be able to help her. May God put the anointing of Miriam upon this ministry hey, that we can watch somebody do this. Do your hands like this. Say, watch. Look around for divine opportunities. Look around for strategic moments. Are you hearing me, somebody? And when Miriam saw the woman come to have a bath, Hello? Come, sit there. Come. Have your bath. Watch, watch. When she saw her, and then she saw the woman, the woman saw the daughter of Pharaoh. She saw the bag with the baby, and she sent her nurse. Come. Quick. The nurse, go bring the bag. This woman, Miriam, knew that this is the Kairos moment for my brother. Watch this. Watch this. If I don't talk now, it will be gone forever. If I don't speak up now, we will lose it forever. What you don't understand about Kairos moment, right now you look just like a baby in a basket among bushes, but you don't know the destiny you carry. In this baby was the deliverance of Israel. In this baby was the salvation of a whole nation. In this baby, but there needed to be a Miriam. Somebody that will keep watch. Somebody that feels like I need to use the bathroom, but I'll still stay. Somebody that says I am hungry, but they put me here to watch. I will keep my watch to see what is happening. And she said, she ran out. She ran out. You say, do you need a nurse? And Doctor Pharaoh says, yes. So I can find one for you, you know. And Doctor. Pharaoh says, go find one. And Miriam runs to Mama. Say, hey, hey, hey. Mama, you got to hurry. Our Kairos has come. Are you hearing me, somebody? I must close here. 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 Someone say, watch. Someone say, watch. Someone say watch, 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 watch. I am not hearing you. Someone say watch. Those of you upstairs, let me see watch. Let me see watch. Let me see watch. May God cause you to look at the right places. May God cause you to be positioned. May God cause you not to lose focus on where you ought to be watching. In the name of Jesus. May God open your eyes to see what you must see. In the name of Jesus. Hey Lord. Give us a prophetic church. Miriam was a prophet. <laughs> Minister Emmanuel, Miriam was a prophetess. Pastor Joshua, she was a young lady, but the anointing was already upon her. And she was watching. You might be a young Christian. I am new in this church. May the anointing of Miriam come upon you. Hey, I just came in today. May the anointing of Miriam come upon you. Hey, I am a young believer. I am just 16 years old. May the anointing come upon you. To watch. To watch. There are chaos moments upon you. Lift up your thank you, ladies. Lift up your hands. I mean to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. God, open my eyes. Lord, open my eyes. <laughs> Lord, may I not miss my chaos moments. The way some of you are praying, it almost appears 
I must close and wait for the next service. So somebody begin to pray. I must not miss my moment. Whatever I have missed already, Lord, bring it back to me. Lord, open my eyes. Lord, open my eyes. Hey, the abracato sabayendele. Mantoria baba baba babosa. You shall conquer the next enemy. You shall win the next battle. You shall overthrow the next target. You shall prevail. You are no more on the same level.